Ellen DeGeneres show ended this year amidst allegations against the brand and reputation that Ellen and the show have portrayed over its 19 years of running. The show ended after a year since allegations were made by staffers at the studio concerning a toxic work environment. While Ellen gave a public apology, the damage was done already. The show's reputation had been tarnished and the following events made way for the show's end after nearly two decades. Although Ellen doesn't credit the events of the past year as the reason why she decided to pull the plug on her show, they may have played their share. She explains that she thought of ending the show as it wasn't challenging her creativity anymore. The Ellen DeGeneres show has taken us through a good time, bringing us our favorite celebrities and a bundle of joy. We look at the events that led to the show's ending. 2020 was perhaps the year that Ellen experienced the most backlash, even more than the time when she came out as gay and how it almost ended her career. 2020 was special because it seemed to be the year when everyone decided to recount some experience with Ellen that did not represent the best of her. Some of the first people to come out about Ellen was Nikki DeJagger's YouTube star. Appearing on a local talk show in her country, DeJagger said that she got a somewhat cold and distant treatment by the multiple award-winning and beloved host. This was when she was invited to talk about her experience as a transgender woman after she had recently announced her status. DeJagger claimed that she didn't even get as much as a high from Ellen and had to endure a treatment that was not given to other guests. She said that all the nice warm greetings were reserved for the show. It gets worse as DeJagger mentioned that while other guests got their private washroom, she didn't get anything of the sort and could use what was closest to her because it was reserved for the Jonas Brothers. DeJagger's experience at the studio started with a rushed and angry greeting by an intern who seemed a little overworked, but that didn't deter her from expecting the best. But when all these events started to take place, her mind started to change about just how welcoming Ellen DeGeneres is when she isn't on set. DeJagger's experience may seem like a one in a million thing, and we weren't going to hear about any of such stories again about the be kind lady. But that again was a bummer as Kevin Porter took to Twitter to solicit stories of Ellen being mean. That was when things started to get dramatic. He made a bet to donate $2 to a food bank, but after the tweet got thousands of responses and many exciting stories, Porter decided to donate a fixed $600 as he encouraged others to donate to local food banks. This was during the heat of the pandemic in March 2020. While the replies had stories that cannot be proven or corroborated, many of the stories were shocking. Some users claimed that Ellen asked for another show, which aired next to hers, to be closed simply because they were making barbecue when Ellen doesn't eat meat. The same user shared that the Ellen Show's staff had to come to their side just to eat because Ellen had their meals vetted so they wouldn't eat fish or meat. Another user served Ellen and her wife only to be reported to her supervisor because she had polished nails. The letter almost got her fired. These stories were a buildup, and during the heat of the pandemic, News from the Ellen Show started to get out that staff was not well informed about decisions when their pay was being cut and they didn't even know whether to prepare for unemployment. After the news leaked from her set, Ellen sent an internal letter addressing the issues but leaving out the allegations. The Hollywood Reporter got hold of the letter. While she made an apology, she failed to address the actual issues and allegations made against her. But instead, she said she was disappointed to learn that some of her staff were not as happy as she thought them to be working for her. She made a declaration to end that cycle of events on the set because she didn't actually know of the issues on the ground. As the show grew, various people were made responsible for such things, which apparently they weren't doing. But what prompted this letter was the Warner Media Investigation, 
which was launched after news leaks indicated that there was no communication while pay and hours were being cut for most staff. It couldn't have been worse. More and more issues came up during the entire year. A former show producer in May 2020 revealed that Ellen once called Steve Jobs just to complain about how small the font on the iPhone was after she had lost her glasses and couldn't read the text on her phone quite well. By July 2020, Ellen was under severe fire, prompting the Everybody Loves Raymond celebrity, Brad Garrett, to tweet, Sorry, but it comes from the top at Ellen's show. No more than one who was treated horribly by her. Common knowledge. Celebrities like Leah Thompson made public comments supporting Garrett, but no one was prepared for one of the biggest trends on Twitter around that time. The hashtag RIP Ellen hashtag started gaining popularity in July. Twitter users had heard of the news that the Ellen show was canceled, although that was not true then. But that was beside the point here. Users were announcing Ellen's death when she was alive and well. It may have been that they used her name to represent the show's death, but to go to that extent meant a lot of backlash against her. Most of Ellen's celebrity friends came to her aid defending her, including Ashton Kutcher and Katy Perry. One of the industry's biggest agents, Scooter Braun, was top among them. In August, he took to Twitter to attest to Ellen's kind-heartedness. But as more celebrities came to her aid, Ellen and her show got more backlash. Amidst it all, Ellen was advised to wait for it off, which may have worsened the situation as she did not address things when they mattered most that she did. It wasn't long before a British newspaper report went out that James Corden was a likely replacement for Ellen DeGeneres. As the issues continued, the show premiered in September, opening with Ellen addressing the allegations against her. She stated in her address, I know that I am in a position of privilege and power, and I realize that with that comes responsibility, and I take responsibility for what happens at my show. This is The Ellen DeGeneres Show. By the time this address was made, a lot had happened. There was no undoing, and Ellen probably knew this. Matters became worse when she wore a nurse superhero costume on Twitter. By December, Ellen revealed that she had tested positive for the virus. You may think that this would create public sympathy for Ellen, but more issues came, such as Trisha Paytas, the YouTube star who came out concerning how she was asked not to talk to or even look at Ellen in the eye during a podcast session they both had. In May 2020, it was announced that the show was getting canceled. Ellen had made all efforts to indicate that ending the show was long overdue and that she needed a new challenge, saying to The Hollywood Reporter that she is looking into the movies. So what do you think is why the show was canceled? Let us know down in the comments.